During the latter part of 2020, engineers have been busy in Retrotex Metal Shop creating precise components for the Mosquito from sheet metal. Throughout summer and autumn, we got to see their progress. Not much has changed since the 1940s. You can see Simon using the same time-tested methods to shape the sheet metal as the plans desire. You've got this one there, let's get that out of the way. So I mean you could probably put that next to the door in. And um, let's see. One particular item and its technical drawing piqued my interest, so we're going to follow along on its journey from fabrication to implementation. Straightening out the diagram, we find front panel drawing N986316 in all of its glory. Removing all the high-tech squiggles, we can better picture the front panel. This painting by Michael Turner called Amiens Attack depicts the low-level raid of Operation Jericho. In this particular portrayal, we can actually see where this panel is located in relation to the flight instruments. The panel's cutouts will fit a range of controls for the aircraft. First, up top is the battery power switch. Then, the port and starboard magneto switches. Magnetos are electrical generators that produce pulses of high voltage in the ignition system to provide power to the spark plugs. In aircraft, keeping the ignition of the spark plugs independent from the rest of the electrical system ensures that the engine continues running in the event of an alternator or battery failure. Virtually all engines in piston-powered aircraft are fitted with two magneto systems, each supplying power to one of two spark plugs in each cylinder. Next to the magnetos are the port and starboard feathering switches. When feathering a propeller, the blades are twisted so that they are parallel to the airflow to reduce drag when the engine fails or is deliberately shut down. As seen here on this A400M Atlas, the prop on the left is running normally. The blades are adjacent to the airflow, allowing it to pull the aircraft through the air. The prop on the right is feathered. The blades are parallel to the airflow, allowing the air to smoothly pass by, reducing drag and prevent it from spinning like a windmill. To get the engines going, there are push buttons for the starter motor and boost coil. The starter motor uses battery power to power the first rotations of the engine. The boost coil uses battery power to produce a high voltage to boost energy in the magneto, initiating combustion in the engine. When the engine is up to speed, the magnetos can then independently produce a high enough voltage to take over the ignition, allowing it to become a self-sustaining system. Although Chris was not working on this particular piece at the time, he was kind enough to explain what was on the workbench. I think that's what the, am I looking at? Like this is the actually this is a back of the box. That, that, ah. I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure that's um I'm pretty sure that's the front, but don't quote on that because I haven't really looked at it. There'll be no quotes, don't worry. <laughs> but I will I'm I'm gonna potentially be doing some of this anyway this week because Simon's off a week, so yeah. so there's a few bits that he's well you said the other day about um you know, it's, it's a little bit um, eccentric at the moment, filming. 
and obviously stuff is going on down here, so let's make as much film as we can. What's going on down there? Anyway, so if you've got anything you need to show. A few weeks later, I found Chris was now working on a bracket for a punka luva. Punka luva? What on earth is a punka luva? I hear you ask in the comments. Punka luva is the name for the airflow nozzles for fresh air ventilation inside aircraft and for similarly individually controlled vents historically in passenger ships. Named after a type of manual ceiling fan originating from the Indian subcontinent, you have probably used one above your head if you've ever flown on a commercial airliner. Due to the busy workshop and spontaneous nature of the filming, you may need to listen closely to what Chris has to say. Yeah, so I'm making a, a wooden, a wooden mould basically, which is just uh, so you can bend for the metal. bending it, make, making sure the bend uh, bends are in the right place. Yes. And so you've got some um, some like stiffener tabs, uh, like on the top and the bottom. So uh, obviously like radius the um, the wood. It's a nice hard maple, and then, um, so that all. That will basically, yeah, create the, um, make sure that the shape's right and, um, and the dimensions as well, because the, this is basically all the inner dimensions of this, of this. So. Okay, yeah. And that's, and where will that go on? Uh, well, that, the catch there, fits. So, that part there will actually fit, uh, well, there on the right, on the right side of the junction box. So, um, so yeah, at the moment, so you've got this, which is the, which is the back section. You've got this, which is the front section. Um, I believe you've got a, you've got a hinge there, which will, which I'm doing, which will sort of act as a, as a, you know, as a pivot for the. To, to be able to open it up and gain access to the internal yeah cabling and everything um, and then uh, I think there's a little bit more to do on this as a as a flange to put on um, the bottom which is more so I have to cut out there and there and then flange it over but I think a couple of nails yeah a couple of Sort of screws, um, well, or sort of special no, no nuts, basically. That yeah. Will, sort of uh, thumb screws. Thumb screws, yeah. Basically. Several weeks after that, we can see that this box in particular has become more than tangible and has taken shape. Um. Well, that's a little block. Excellent. Yeah. And so you have to get the, um, you know, the positions of where the, you know, the, the edges of the, you know, the, of the of the, the stiffener flange, yeah. or the flange are, are going to be. Um, you know, I mean, you could look at something like that and think, well, you know, does 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 it matter that much to get it? Yeah. You know, to to get it right, but the things. It does. When you're, when you're, you know, precision, working on precision sheet metal, you want yeah. to work in a tolerance of 15 thou, and anyone who knows yeah. eh, what they're looking at yeah. will, will probably, what, 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 probably tell. Uh, I mean, some, well, as, it, as you'll tell, tell by there, some suddenly come out a, uh, a little more, but I mean, in terms of the general fitting, mm -hmm. you've got to use your discretion about, you know, is it going to fit where it needs to fit? Mm -hmm. um, you know, and yeah. and is it going to look right? So yes. Yeah. Um, you know, um, it's like if you've got no external constraints about where it's going, it's equally a bit more forgiving. But you'll see. Trying to find the GA. That that was the um, that was the drawing that we've been. Yeah. Filming. So you can Looking probably. You could probably offer it up to that one. That would be a good one. Just, uh, so, so yeah, you can see it's uh, well temporarily assembled with skin pins. 
and we've got the, um, the thumb screws there uh, assembled in place. So we can undo them like so. And, uh, yeah, very nice action on that hinge as well, so I did a good job there. <laughs> um, good job, sir. So you should. That's it. Yeah, I didn't know if they had flared, flared edges or not. They probably don't. They might have it in the end. Um, so that's the box open. But yeah, I'm, pr I'm, I'm pretty sure the ends of those thumb screws will be uh, flared over so that they don't fall out. So they don't fall out. So this doesn't become a feature length documentary, we've split this particular update into parts, so please check back soon for part two. In the meantime, take a look at our website to see how you can help bring pieces of this mosquito together and return it to the skies above Britain. Also, feel free to comment down below any questions you have or things you would like to see. We love hearing what you have to say. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you're staying safe wherever you are. Thank you for watching.